Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, should the fall ages I would show out here, about to give you the daily vlog for Monday, February the 15th, one day after the Hallmark holiday known as Valentine's Day. And I must say that Beth and I did have a really nice Valentine's Day. I know that the daily vlog yesterday was really short. However, we did all we needed to do, and a lot of the times that I do like video editing and such, it's done. That way you guys don't have to waste time hearing so's, butts, or any pauses for breathing. And nobody's commented saying, hey, we like the longer vlogs, you know, leave that stuff in. I usually omit all of that stuff out, but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to read some comments because I haven't done so in probably almost two weeks. We're going to read some comments from people. First off from David Duarte, love these daily vlogs, keep up the grind, thank you very much. It is a grind. You know, daily vlogs are a grind and I appreciate that some of you guys want to take the time out to read what's going on throughout my day. Mama Shono saying what every driver says when seeing terrible roads in Michigan, they need to fix this shit. That is one of the things about Michigan is that they're really horrible about the roads. And I think part of the problem is they band-aid the fix. Instead of fixing it right with cement, they try to cheapen it with blacktop, and that doesn't work at all. And of course, Shitman can't spell porn right, and still didn't even in the edits. Retroboy1357, snowing again. I love it, but only when I'm not going to the gym these days. And hello to Mama Shono. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. And Jeremy Bowman said, another cool video, bro. I gifted you my envelope today, brother. And I appreciate everybody that has gifted me envelopes. Please do not send gifts to anything but the main account for the uh, Valentine's Day stuff. I will be doing a full opening, but the main account needs the stuff the most, even though I have sub accounts. The opening matters the most on the main account because I can get Cavaliers on that account. Rob Russell loving the lasagna, real tomato sauce, saying it was a National Lampoon Family Vacation movie reference. It was Meyer tomato sauce that I used. And he was feeling that Bob Ross narration in my video, waiting for you to say, it's your world, make it any way you want. Glad you caught that reference with Bob Ross. I was trying to narrate kind of like that. And one of the things about daily vlogs and even cooking daily vlogs is that you need to be talking through it. You need to keep your viewers entertained, and that's one of the big things. Dashi says that we need cooking with Hollywood Shono more often. Maybe what I'll do is next time I go to the grocery store, I'll buy some pizza crust and go make my own pizza instead of like a DiGiorno. Even though I love frozen DiGiorno and Kroger pizza, maybe you guys would like to see that and you'd like to see me put certain toppings on it like Colby Jack and bacon. Who knows? If you guys want to see that, let me know or even like little bits of chicken might be good or even little bits of ham gudra also in love with lasagna a lot of comments on my lasagna cooking with hollywood shono i definitely cannot wait until i can do pork chops on the grill i can learn how to cook pork chops i can even barbecue my own pacius radicus six days ago at the time of this recording said he had a question about injustice gods among us and i answered it and nike fan theory had said i'm not going to answer any injustice questions and like i said if people are going to be civil about asking questions i'm fine with that dashi says that he does miss final fantasy 3 and also congratulations DRC Views TV for pulling a four-star apocalypse. Yes, that's a huge game changer. What's a game changer is Robbie Wan Kenobi pulling a five-star Doctor Doom, both of which are game changers. The four-star apocalypse is a big deal because now Cable is a decent damage dealer, and to my knowledge, he also has a four-star Cable. And eventually, DRC will get five stars, as long as he's working towards 100% on Heroic. And even Incursions can get some five-star shards if he does Sector 4 and 5. So that's one of the things that I need to do this session around. And also, don't be afraid to use your Alliance members for incursions. I know that Hyperion has helped out Robbie One Kenobi quite a bit. Thank you very much for that. Create has been looking for an incursions partner. Just realize that my time is really busy, so when I actually want to do incursions, I don't want to be running it for everybody. I want to get my milestones. Please use the Alliance to do incursions. I'm not going to run it for everybody. So Nevermind also commented because a YouTuber named Jay Silver followed me on Twitch because I was doing some Dr. Octopus gameplay. If you're watching these daily vlogs, thank you very much for your support. I appreciate that, and I can't wait to see you in another Marvel Contest of Champions 3. So VTech 8 I believe responded to Menma. Thanks for joining me as well as everyone else for some PSO2 Mayhem. We'll get you leveled for a class with more range in no time. I think that was actually me, but I think it was just me, Menma, and Anubisy. Playing a close quarters class in PSO can definitely be challenging when you have to chase enemies down. It doesn't help that Hunter is not that fast. Absolutely. As you can see from my Divinity Original Sin 2, I prefer playing casters. That's where I'm strongest at. I'm more adept at being in the back and supporting. I'm better with support than with melee. Now, that might be different with Diablo. That's the only class I can stomach a barb and being close up. But every other game, I hate being close up. I'd rather be a, a caster. And Shitman says, hi Shono and Mama Shono. Hello to you as well, Hitman. And Mr. Gamer, it looks like after I get Cav, I'll have to focus more on the side event quest and hope I get better six stars so I can get started on Thronebreaker. Well, keep in mind too, good five stars could be all you need for Thronebreaker, but you do need a pretty diverse roster as you have to complete Act 6. Granted, Ghost can probably do 95% of that. 
I am lucky enough to have a five-star ghost, but I know you don't, and I know other people don't either. So Rob Russell says, y'all drive by, but never stop by. I think we'll have to give that hint to Mama Shono, especially if she drops me off there for a few hours one day. I'm sure that you wouldn't mind dropping me off. It's just more of a pain in the ass picking me up, bringing me back, going back home. It'd probably be a lot easier doing one way versus two. So I'll have to keep that in mind next time Mama Shono and I are out. But usually we've been doing grocery shopping. And when we do grocery shopping and not regular shopping, I'm pretty sure my mom doesn't want to be handling the groceries by herself. So that's the only reason I don't stop by. But I'm sure that my mom probably would not mind if, say, we went grocery shopping, then went out to eat. She probably wouldn't mind dropping me off. I'll have to try and arrange that because I do miss hanging out with you guys, especially with Marvel Contest of Champions. But look forward to a stream tomorrow because I have to run all of those arenas and I'm going to be focusing heavily on that, not incursion. If you guys want incursions, we can do some Wednesday after my opening. Shipman has an idea that I should be reading some comments out with Mama Shona. It's not a bad idea, especially if we do some more car and adventurous daily vlogs in the future. She might be interested in what people are saying to her. Now, I don't know if this is a bot. Retro Boy 1 says, you and me are the same in and out of games. Depends on the game. If I really enjoy a game, I am definitely not in and out. Like, Marvel Contest of Champions is probably the game in over a year that I am not out. But yes, I've had a couple little breaks from Arena, but I've still played the game every single day. And to me, it's one of the best games. But because of Lydia Collins, I've been playing Marvel Strike Force. I haven't found a game on the PS5 that I could actually invest in. I know a lot of you guys would like me to get better at Mortal Kombat 11. I'm sure some of you guys would actually tune into that. So we'll see if we can make that happen down the road. Hopefully when PS5 actually starts announcing games like Final Fantasy 16, Elder Scrolls 6, maybe I'll get more fanfare. Another idea is that I could be streaming the Switch for a few hours and then pulling some highlights. That's an option as well. Dashi, definitely look forward to Final Fantasy 3 and I will try to get to that at the end of the week. It really depends on what the featured arena is if I actually go through with that. I still need to finish my Cavalier run and I need to get uncollected on my third account. So we have a couple things we need to work on but I really want to try and get Final Fantasy 3 in soon. I was more in a WWE 2K19 mood because I know that the next WWE pay-per-view is coming Sunday. I still need to watch NXT TakeOver. Give me a couple days. I'll try to get through it. Probably not today, but I'll try to get through it tomorrow. Just like Monday Night Raw, I watch as well. Dashi also said that I love Bowser's Fury. It's up to you, Shono, and thanks for getting rid of that idiot on the Justice comment. I'm getting sick and tired of people asking for it every time. Absolutely. I mean, you can't fully blame these people asking about Injustice, but at the same time, I don't want to stick with one game. I like playing other games and I appreciate everybody that stuck around for that. I just can't play Injustice like I used to. And I know a lot of people are upset about that. You guys have to open your mind, give Marvel Contest Champions a try, give Marvel Strike Force a try, give the Vincent Shono shows a try. I know a lot of it could be past people's bedtime because a lot of people stop watching after 8 o'clock, which is why I stopped streaming at 8 o'clock. 8 to 11 is kind of going to be my downtime where I just don't do shit. And also Retro Boy 1 to close out the comments, lots of sausage all around yesterday. You better believe it. I know that's got her share of sausage. I know Lydia wishes she could get some sausage damn COVID. But thank you all for watching this daily vlog. I appreciate each and every one of you. I think tomorrow is going to be another indoor daily vlog. Come hell or high water, we are still going to be doing the crystal opening on Wednesday with Savage Wolf at his place. Tune in at 8 o'clock. Thank you for watching.